is it, folks. This is the big one. <laughs> I finally have proof. For years, I have asked my dear listeners to send in photographic evidence to prove once and for all that Spider-Man is directly linked to the very criminals who plague our city. And finally, finally, one brave anonymous caller has delivered the goods. We have clear photos of Spider-Man standing in the immediate vicinity of caches of humanitarian aid. Aid that was intended for Sincari. And our heroic caller assures me that these very humanitarian caches are being sold on the black market. If I've learned one thing in my years as a world-renowned reporter, it's this. Photos don't lie. Spider-Man has been caught red-handed. No pun intended, puns are for whips. So what do we do about it, you ask? We wait. We wait for the police to finally wake up and arrest this mass lunatic. At long last, this city is going to finally see that Jameson has been right about Spider-Man this entire time! Not only is he a thief, he's actually stealing vital food and medicine from innocent civilians who are trapped in a war zone! Women and children struggling to survive, hiding each day from a hail of mortars and bullets. Meanwhile, Spider-Man is stealing the very aid that might keep them alive. This is a new low, people. Even I could never have suspected Spider-Man of something this despicable. All we can do now as a city is to sit back and quietly reflect on just how right J. Jonah Jameson really was. Yet again. The entrance to his hideout must be somewhere close by. Huh, must be underground. Guess it's time for some urban spelunking. Ugh, that's a new smell. Yuck. Hope I find Sable before the fumes overwhelm her. If I can get through this without getting wet, that'd be a win. Hello? This is so cool. Hey! Sibilance! Whoa, look at this place. The amount of work it takes to make this city run is just crazy. I'll never take fresh water for granted again. Well, guess I'll just go with the flow. Okay, let's see where this leads. Looks like some loose bricks up ahead. Nice. Okay, onward. Hammerheads, guys. They've taken over an abandoned subway platform. Gotta take these guys out, then look around for Sable. I wonder if we even need more pods down here. You kidding? Those things are awesome! You get juiced up in there and come out feeling like a superhero. Ain't we villains, though? Nah, depends on your perspective. My kid, I'm a hero. Yeah, I guess. Same with my mother. See? We're all heroes. Just in different ways, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, let me look at this some more, see if I can figure something out. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Why do you keep asking me that? Because it's 
it doesn't look like you know what you're doing. I'm assessing the situation. Assessing for like the last ten minutes. This is delicate equipment, okay? One wrong move, and this whole generator's fried. Boss would be mighty upset if that happened. Exactly. Which is why I'm being careful and assessing. Got it? Boss would also be upset if somebody said they knew how to fix something when they really did. Over and show me how it's done. Oh, I, I never said I knew how to fix it. Then why don't you shut up and let me work? I just think it's kind of sad when people tell lies to make themselves, you know, seem more important. You are such a pain in the ass. Okay, I didn't imagine that. said once we take over this sable business, we all get a cut of the profits. Yeah. Well, what if he don't? What do you mean? He said he would. The boss is good on his word. Yeah, but what if all this Project Olympus stuff is getting into his head? I mean, he's barely even human anymore. So you want insurance? For what? For the money you promised us. I think we should have a contract, like legally binding. Are you serious right now? Yeah, the boss promised us a cut. a pigeon, it's gonna be a dead pit. all of them. Now, I bet if I follow the power cables, I'll find where they're holding Sable. Hope that's not a load-bearing subway car. Nice. Okay, follow the yellow wire. Ah, tunnel's blocked. But I think I can still squeeze through. Body bags? Well, this just took a turn. inside the thing like the other guys who was it don't remember his name 
Sal's cousin. Was it messy? Nah, he just came out all blue. I think he stopped breathing in there or something. Did you hook up the oxygen line like I said? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think so. Boss ain't gonna like hearing, I think so. Then forget I said it. And I'll forget you were drinking on the job yesterday. What do you mean? That, that, that was coffee. Sure didn't smell like coffee. I gotta do this quick, and then find Sable. Downtime. This place looks like their main base of operations. Almost indestructible. After all, you're still human. Then make me less human. I'm... I'm not sure what you mean. I mean what I said. Now get to work. Wow. If Hammerhead gets his hands on this thing, we're in serious trouble. All this stuff belongs to Sable? Yeah, most of it's overseas, though. What are you thinking, boss? I'm thinking about how she took over the whole city in a matter of days. You mean back during that Devil's Breath thing? Yeah, that was crazy. Not so crazy when you got the right equipment. Well, we got those digging things. Not good enough. If we want the best stuff, we're gonna need her. Yeah, okay. How are we gonna do that? Just keep taking her stuff. She'll come to us. I should have a look around, see what I can learn. XRT-89, Subterranean Troop Deployment Vehicle. That's the real name? I'm sticking with Dig Boy. Project Olympus. These pods require a lot of electricity. Must be why they're leeching off the subway. I told you, I just helped manufacture these things. I didn't design them. Guess we got the wrong guy then. On the bright side, now we got our first test subject. No! No! Don't! Don't turn it on! Please! Just give me a few minutes. I can figure it out. Now that's what I like to hear. Sable jetpacks. I'd pay good money to see Hammerhead's guys learning to fly in these things for the first time. Sable, sounds like she's close. There! Is through. High voltage wires and sewer water. What could possibly go wrong? If there's one takeaway from this underground lair thing, it's that Hammerhead should have fewer thugs with guns and a lot more safety inspectors.
I will never give you what you want. Yes, you will. It'll just take time. back for me. Why? Because I need you. I work alone. I used to say the same thing. I know what's happening in Simkaria. I know why this means so much to you. I think you know, but you do not know. What can I do to make you trust me? Look, I think I know how we can take down that monster, but I can't do it alone. Damn it! He let her loose! Okay, here's the plan. Oh. Good plan.
was awesome! High five! You said you could defeat Hammerhead. You, uh, know you left me hanging, right? There are medical records in here. Yeah, mostly about that metal plate in his head. Carbon steel. Super strong, pretty sensitive to... Heat! I have an idea. I, uh, solemnly swear to, uh, do whatever you tell me to. I will call soon. Ow! But, yeah. Guess I'll do some spidey work while I wait for Sable's call. Hey, what's that? What's with all the yellow stuff? Huh. Is this some weird street artist thing? A police report? Looks like someone was killed during a mugging, but nothing was stolen. Hmm. What's with the audio recorder? So, you have some work-related stress. Well, you came to the right place. That's my specialty. So they tell me. Give me some more specifics about how you're feeling. Guess you could say I put a lot of pressure on myself. I like to be the best. Plus, I have a very demanding boss. Now, what kind of work do you do? Everything here stays confidential, right? Of course. Good. Because if any of this gets out, you're a dead man. The case file says one of nine. There must be more of these out in the city. There's a bunch of GPS coordinates here. I love treasure hunts, but something tells me I'm not gonna find a chest full of gold at any of these places. <laughs> 